kalla innahum an rabbihim yawma idhin lamahjubun that no indeed they will be veiled from their lord on that day they will be veiled there will be a screen between them and their lord on that day now this is a very important verse many of the salaf like imam shafi rahimahullah he used this verse he said hadhi al aya dalilun ala anna al mu'minin yarawnahu azza wa jalla yawma idhin that this aya is a proof that the believers will see Allah on the day of judgment this is a proof that the believers will see Allah on the day of judgment but this is taken from the implied understanding of the verse what we say from the mafhum of the verse not from the mantuq the explicit meaning is that the disbelievers won't see Allah if that is the case that means obviously the believers will see Allah otherwise there's no point if no one sees Allah on the day of judgment then then there's no point mentioning this here so the believers will see Allah with their eyes on the day of judgment and this is considered to be the greatest naeem rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said fawallahi fawallahi ma a'tahum shay'an ahabba ilayhim min an-nadhar ila wajhi rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said by allah allah will not give them anything more beloved to the believers on that day then to see the face of their lord why why is it considered to be the greatest blessing think about it all of your life you are seeing to this vessel in your body your your heart to purify it for it to not fulfill its objective to know its lord but you are barred the vision from seeing your creator in this dunya you worship him day and night you bow down to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you ask of him you think about him you reflect him but you have no idea what he looks like and this is what leads to the shauq this is what leads to this yearning desire to want to know and want to meet allah imam ash-shafi said ama wallahi ama wallahi law lam yuqin muhammad ibn idris annahu yara rabbahu fi al-ma'adi la ma'abadu fi dunya is imam ash-shafi speaking about himself he said wallahi if muhammad ibn idris referring to himself did not believe with certainty that he would see his lord in the hereafter he would not worship him in the dunya he would we he wouldn't worship him in the dunya meaning to say the only reason why he worships allah in the dunya is to see allah in the akhirah that is the thing that pushes him that is the thing that pushes the mushtaqin this is why the scholars they would write books about al ishtiyaq yearning to meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is the key feature all of the salihin had is yearning desire to meet allah if that doesn't exist then there is something wrong with your heart if that doesn't exist in your heart this yearning desire to meet allah by allah you there's something wrong with your heart it is diseased there is something wrong with it and we know that allah says in other places in the in the quran wujuhu yawma idhin nadira ila rabbiha nadira on that day their faces will be gleaming with light ila rabbiha nadira because they and on that day ila rabbiha nadira they will their faces will be looking at allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the rasulullah sallam used to say by allah you will see allah on the day of judgment just like you see this moon do you all see this moon and they said yes ya rasulullah do you find any problem seeing the moon and the moon was at its fullest so how they said no ya rasulullah likewise on the day of judgment you will find no difficulty in seeing your lord just as you see this moon and that would be the greatest delight allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a lengthy hadith he mentions that one and he will call out to an angel and this angel will say to the people of jannah inna rabbakum wa ta'ala istazirakum fa hayyu ala ziyarati that indeed your lord he invites you to a meeting with him so come to this meeting and they all they depart the people of jannah they depart to go to this meeting and allah will erect pulpits of light pulpits of 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 gold and emeralds and people will be standing there and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to them aren't you not pleased and they say ya rab how can we not be pleased alam tu bayyid wujuhana haven't you made our faces bright 
Haven't you entered us into Jannah? Haven't you saved us from the hellfire? So Allah subhanahu and they and then the believers will see that Allah wants something from them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, So ask, what would you like? And they will all say together, Arina wajhaka nandur ilay, show us your face so that we can look to it. And that will be considered to be the greatest delight. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that they will be given nothing more beloved to them than to be able to see the face of Allah. And for the believers, they will be able to see Allah. For some, they will be able to see Allah on a daily basis. And even just looking at the face of Allah will increase them in beauty. It is said that one, some of the people of paradise, they will leave their wives in a certain state and they'll come back and their wives will say to them, you left in a certain state and you came back more handsome. And this is because of that meeting just by gazing at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your faces will increase in lightness. But you must reflect why this is such a happy moment for the believer to think that you're spending your life worshipping Allah, desiring to meet Him. This is what pushes you. This is what pushed Imam al-Shafi. He said, if I didn't believe that there was Allah, we would meet Allah, what would make me worship, want to worship Allah? So this is why it's considered the greatest punishment for them on that day is that they will be denied to gaze at the face of Allah. Allah is mentioning this ayah, as a form of belittling them, to, ch to chastise them. Not just to say they're going to miss out on a, on a reward, but they're going to miss out on the greatest reward. And when you miss out on the greatest reward, that creates the greatest form of regret. The greatest form of regret. To think that what would be more painful, do you think, to you honestly? That you will burn in the hellfire or that you will never end up seeing your Lord? By Allah, the greatest punishment is that you will be denied to see Allah. You will be denied to see Allah on that day. And the greatest bliss is that you will be able to see Him. You will be able to speak to Allah. You will be able to hear the words of Allah Himself. You will be able to hear the one who the Qur'an emanated from. You'll be able to hear the Qur'an from Allah Himself. Forget about these reciters in this dunya, they are nothing. There's nothing but to hear the Qur'an from Allah Himself. Imagine that na'im, imagine that blessing, imagine that comfort, imagine that joy and serenity. It's completely unmatched.